We are flying a beer mug, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Simple Planes. Can't get you out of my... How's it going everybody? Drake Ghost here and welcome back to some more Simple Planes Best Creations. So to start out with, we got the Dragast. Yes, this is a fan-made creation. A lot of you have actually made things for me in this game, and I really appreciate that. I try and check all of them out, uh, just some of them don't unfortunately make the videos. This one, though, it just looks too badass to uh, not put in a video here, so you could actually drop down the wings here, but I'm curious to see how it... Oh shit. Oh god damn it. Anyways, as I sang, I retracted it a little too much there. I'm just curious to see if this thing is able to fly even with the wings up, because that would be so damn cool looking if we could keep the wings up here and still somehow fly. Oh god, it's it's turning. Oh <laughs> this is the weirdest feeling ever. Nope. <laughs> Well, it can do 360s, that's for sure. Okay, let's try to play it how it's meant to be played, and that is all the way out. That just looks so damn sleek. I love that this plane is called the Dragas. This is an envisionment of me. I don't even know if envisionment is a word, but now it is. That is just beautiful. Okay, we're about 250 miles. Let's try and lift off here. There we go. Oh, you can even see the wings because they are bendable wings. They even bend in the air a little bit. I don't know if that helps the flying or not, but it looks really cool. Okay, now that we're in the air, I'm just curious. Let's try and actually contract these wings and see what happens here. Oh, it does that. Isn't that majestic? It's got a trick button. All right, and back to normal we go. We're upside down, flip it around, and <laughs> it is all good. Oh, this camera is so cool. I love it. Look at this thing. It's coming by. Bam. Oh, shit. I think... Oh, oh, uh-oh. 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 Pull up. Pull up. <laughs> okay. It's so hard to tell with this damn camera. Okay, there is a landing strip over here, so we're gonna try and land this thing. This is a very big aircraft. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to land it, but let's uh, slow down the engines here and see if I can. Okay, coming in for the landing at this extremely small airstrip. Oh, we started a little early. Well, well, oh, and we're still okay. I mean, technically we're okay. We're still attached to the craft at least. Okay, now now we're not. Great. Well, thank you, ETW135, for making an aircraft named after me. Unfortunately, I have demolished it already, but I appreciate it. What the fuck just happened? I crashed this thing, and then I came out of the water. Interesting. Anyways, this is the so-called fastest craft in the world. Another fan-made creation for me. Uh, it does go pretty damn fast. As you can see, we're almost hitting 800 miles an hour. I don't know what, in fact, the fastest one is, though. I haven't actually paid attention much to the speed, but pretty damn impressive. Let's see if we can do that water thing again, because that was fucking cool. We went in and came out, so here we go again, right in. Oh, that that's not good. We are dead this time. And now we have a beautiful butterfly. Let's see, how does this thing work? Now I know you're... Shit! Well, I pretty much just turned it into a caterpillar. No big deal. I'm just going reverse through evolution. Okay, let's try that again without the explosions here. Now I'm supposed to be able to flap this. Look at this! I'm a beautiful butterfly! I did break off half my wings already, and it pretty much just does somersaults. Oh my god, it's fucking majestic though. And we're coming down for landing. Perfect. I wonder if I can get off of the ground just by flapping its wings. Let's see here. Come on. Shit. I mean, it's kind of off the ground. Now it's exploding, but it kind of works as an ornithopter for like a half a second. Okay, so what I'm assuming I'm supposed to do is lift it up like this, then slow this down and start flapping. No, nope, nope, that's not how to do it either. I, I don't know how to fucking work this one. Butterflies are confusing, I guess. Okay, let's try something new here. I'm, I'm learning how to fly this thing. It's actually pretty fun because it's extremely difficult to fly. So let's actually open the wings here. Can I control it like this and then maybe masturbate my mouse? There we go. Now we know how to fly. You just gotta masturbate the mouse. That's it. Oh, shit. Never mind. Jesus Christ, this fucking thing's impossible. All right, coming in for landing. Oh, I guess not. Holy shit, why'd we explode? <laughs> Right now, I can't get the butterfly to work, but at least we get a rain shower of explosions. That's always nice. This brings back some uh, great childhood memories. I used to build little airplanes exactly like this thing. Now, the big question is, can it lift off? Because if it can lift off, I mean, my childhood is complete. I, I've, I've always wanted a working flying Lego craft, and now, thanks to Simple Planes, 
I might just have it. I don't know how fast we need to go here, but please lift off. Oh, oh yes, there we go. Can we retract the gears? Yes, we can. The perfect Lego craft. Look at how majestic this little thing is. Okay, we're coming in as good as I can possibly get. Let's drop the engines all the way down. Oh, yeah, we are coasting. Oh, shit. Turn them on. Turn them on. Turn them on. Oh, no. Oh, for fuck's sakes, here we go again. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> the Lego pieces fell off. That was fucking great. I mean, we didn't successfully do it, but I loved that little crash there. It was a very Lego-like crash. Okay, next up we got a steampunk inspired battle airship. Look at how badass this thing looks. It's got some decent weaponry on it. I actually can't get the bombs to work for whatever reason. I go to air to ground here and it says I have zero bombs and zero rocket pods for whatever reason. But you can actually see them right there. That doesn't matter though. Let's just make this thing fly and see how good it is in the air oh my god look at this this is so cool and you can churn it with these uh fans you can do anything you want with these fans you know what let's see if we can do a loop the loop that that should be fun oh yeah there we go no problems at all uh oh uh oh uh oh 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 my god that was officially the biggest explosion yet i gotta see that again in slow motion that was amazing <laughs> Okay, here we go. We are intentionally gonna crash again only because this thing can seriously explode. There we go. If you don't know, Simple Planes does have slow motion as well, which everything is a little bit more amazing in slow motion. So, there we go. Yes, explosions are great. And now we're just gonna see a big ball of blackness. Let's speed this up a bit. There you go. Look at that it doesn't stop it just wants to get bigger and bigger and it's gone there's nothing left like look at fucking nothing is here and you guys thought a keg was a big thing for a party well now we got a beer fucking plane it is seriously just a beer mug as a plane now <laughs> actually what's the point of this wheel back here it's doing nothing you may as well just get rid of it it's actually working with just these few small wheels here. Now let's see if we can lift off here. I'm going to assume this one's not going to be very aerodynamic, but it is remarkably working. We are flying a beer mug, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Simple Planes. The beer mug is coming in for landing way sideways, but... Oh, are we going to be able to successfully land it? Oh no, we're coming to the end. Shit, turn them back on those engines before that happens. We lost all our beer. That's no fun. So we got another steampunk creation here. This is a flying boat. Look at that. It looks exactly like a ship. This thing is just fantastic. Now I'm hoping it can take off. I'm assuming if he's going to release it to the public, it should work as both a boat and a plane. So let's try and turn this in the water first. Oh yeah, she turns a little bit. So it can be worked as a boat, but most importantly, can the boat take off? Still not able to yet. We are getting close. There we go. Take off with a flying freaking boat <laughs> how cool is that okay we're coming back in for the landing this is going to be the hard part i figured out last episode or maybe the episode before that landing on water is harder than it seems so i'm going to go really slow we're kind of just going to glide here oh yes look at that i did it we landed a boat on the water what a cool design a flying boat and because it's always enjoyable, let's try and swoop through this little triangle here. Oh, yeah, we should definitely have this. No problem at all. That was too easy. I, I, I gotta go for a harder one. Okay, we're gonna go for this tight squeeze at the end triangle. I'm, oh, man, I'm having a hard time even stabilizing this. Oh, God, no. No! No! <laughs> we're not even close! Shit. Well, it didn't even break the damn bridge. That wasn't very fun. <laughs> Okay, and next up we got the Shockwave Jet Truck. Now, this is one of those trucks that have the jet engines on the back that go ridiculously fast at drag races. Uh, this one's actually got three on the back, so I'm really curious to see how fast this one is. So we're going to full throttle these engines, wait till they're all powered up, and then let this sucker fly. Oh my god, it doesn't want to stop. It just keeps going higher and higher. Listen to these damn engines. This is crazy. Okay, I, I gotta assume. I mean, it's still going higher and higher, so let, you know what, let's just wait, because I'm curious to see how fast this sucker's gonna go. Is it even gonna stay on the ground? It's basically flying right now. Alright, I think that's good. Let's let her go. Oh. We just used all our fuel in one second. Did you see that? We were at 100% fuel when I let it go. All the fuel was gone. What the hell? 
Okay, so there must be a glitch with the fuel. Basically, it doesn't burn any fuel if it's not moving. But then when I let it go, it burnt all the fuel immediately. So I'm not going to let it go as fast as it was. We're going to let it go right about now. Let's see what happens here. Oh, yes. There we go. Look at the speedometer, guys. We might hit a 1,000 here. Oh, my fucking God. It's an airplane. It has turned into a fucking airplane. <laughs> yes, a thousand miles an hour and we are out of fuel. Holy shit, that was fun. It's still going. Like, it's <laughs> it's it's basically a plane. That went a thousand miles an hour. I think that was officially the fastest creation that we've ever seen. Now, is it going to explode in the water? No, it's totally fine. Look at it. You can go pick that up again and shoot it off again. Man, that was fun. Next stop, Uranus. Let's do this thing. So this is the first rocket creation that I've seen in the game. It's actually got... A movable catwalk as well, so the attention to detail is definitely here. So let's move that catwalk. I don't know if we boost the engines before we take off or what, but okay. Oh yeah, okay. You don't know. Stop, stop, stop. Oh god, okay. You know what? Well, that's one way to take off. Let's see if we can keep going here. Nope, definitely not happening. We are we are crashed and burned, my friends. Okay, and this is why NASA learns from its mistakes. So let's try this again and not scrub. Now we're gonna deactivate it and shit. Well, that one didn't go any better either. Oh god, we're coming back down <laughs> into it. Oh man. Okay, I think I just pressed the wrong button there. Let's try this one more time and press the right button this time. There we go. Can I control this thing? No, I can't. Oh god. I'm trying to control it. Oh shit, this is not working as planned. Okay, we are kind of going at least upwards. That's better than our last missions. Okay, let's decouple those. There we go. We are a moving penis now. I wonder how high we can go, though. I'm trying to stabilize this thing. It's fucking difficult to do, though. Well, guys, I think this is the highest we've been in simple planes. I can't <laughs> seem to get this thing to freaking stabilize. But it is oddly beautiful up here. Anyways, guys, we're going to end this episode of Simple Planes here. I hope you enjoyed these awesome creations. Again, let me know what you guys want to see in the comments below. If you want more planes or you want more of these weird creations that I've been finding. Regardless, Simple Planes seems to be here to stay. You guys seem to love it. So I appreciate that. Thank you so much for all your support, guys. Thanks for watching and liking. And I will see you in the next one.